hi everyone hello guys welcome back to my channel or nikki's thoughts if you're new here my name is nikki and um, I, um my channel's name is nikki's thoughts i fame on anything that comes to my thoughts as the name implies nikki's thoughts on marriage on career on family um food faith whatever that comes into my thoughts that's what i would normally um film with um this evening um so if you're new to my channel please subscribe onto this channel and help the channel to go and so i know the way i'm placing the camera i'm not sure maybe i'm looking at you in the face if i'm not looking directly in the face it's because of the way that I placed my um, phone at the moment, so I'm not doing it horizontally. I think I'm doing it vertically, so maybe that's the reason. So, um, um, yes, quickly, I just want to. Um, I watched uh, a YouTuber uh, recently, um, is, is that I subscribe to, and uh, <clears throat> she was talking about uh, her name is I think Chinwei um chinwe chinwe for the second name now but if i say am i putting on the tape thing she was actually uh, talking about um, uh, a girl a lady in a relationship and that the relationship is eight years old and um and so the relation was not good so i decided to do this because uh, most of my my talk thought is almost on on marriage and uh, i have four children myself that they are of all my last my baby is 18 years old so most of them are already almost and um, into that same um, circle of marriage you know and um <clears throat> and i've been them i've been married for 26 years myself so i'm um, looking at that post that she put there i love watching uh, vlogs i watch all of the vlogs banta uh, with tenji um, nello um happy family um favor uh, fantastic favor ochi tochi so many um see i so many apart from i'm just mentioning the african ones that i watch and i like watching all this because um I think I'm young at that. That's one. Then I work with um, young um, people as well, and and then yes, I'm just young at that. But looking at the video, I mean, there's a lot to learn from from them. Most of this video that I watch, I kudos them. When I listen to all their word and all they have gone through and how they're thinking, I would like to check myself. I said, was I, was I like? I wish I can be like this during their own time or during my own time, you know, putting themselves down, putting their food down, do things and all sorts. Anyway, to so just not go straight, um, not deviate for why I'm actually here quickly. Um, you know, and Chinwe, I might get your um, Chinwo or Chinwe, I will get your YouTube, you know, I'll send this directly to you and then I might put your YouTube listing on the wall here to see. Um, you know, um, that's your friend that has been in a relationship for eight years. It doesn't take eight years to somebody that wants to really marry someone. Mm -mm. The moment you are, um, the person you want, you met whoever you want to marry, you will know, you will know right immediately. Um, but if if they, you are you are dating somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody that's eight years down the line, you still don't know what you are doing or they still know what is going, I would just advise the girl or your friend to, to stop that, to thank God for not getting into marriage, you know. You can cut any relationship that is not good. But once you are entering into marriage, it's difficult to part because children would have set in. If they had gotten um by maybe mistake of getting married or, or having children for the, for the eight years, they would have had seven years old child or eight year old or or six year old. And when the children has entered into a situation, it's so difficult. 
So I would say that she should count her stars and just she said she wanted to off that um, relationship. She's making the right decision. She should just walk out of that relationship. And then she should go before anyone would set in into marriage. I do advise that make sure you understand your own personality force, your personality traits force. First, what can you handle? What can you not handle? Who are you? What kind of person you can actually move with? Because even if one person is good, the other one is good, if their personality is clash, they will always be a bad people to themselves. That is one. And then again, you need to know if you, you, there's some people, people you don't want to get married to, they're narcissist. They're narcissist. Bipolar, bipolar or whatever. There's so many of them out there. And the description you are given about this particular guy of yours, I can see a necessary uh, trait in him. If you want to be out there and then put you inside the house, is that the way you want to live your life? Marriage is not something you enter that you go out easily. So it's better to be caught. It. There's so many people, good people out there that are ready to take you on, to love you, to nurture you. To give you the best that you deserve. You know, I have seen somebody that met themselves on Wednesday. They marry on Sunday. And their marriage is solidly, solid up to now. Joyce Mayer is an evangelist. Um, it's a women ministry evangelist, you know. She got married to, she was in a relationship because she was abused by her father. So she left that relationship and then she was divorced. And then she met Joyce, Joyce and Dave. Within a short period of time, they got married. And they've been living together now for 50 years. I was in a relationship myself for eight good years. Okay. And I entered, I was looking at the age time that I put into it, um, into that relationship for four years in um, courtship together, the four years away, you know, long and distant relationship before we come together. But I put a lot of effort, a lot of effort to make that marriage work. I put a lot of effort to make that marriage work. And so it's not, it's not, um, if you can't walk away now, please, my dear, walk away. There's a good man that not even thinking about it. If the guy is not thinking about you getting settled down eight years of solid, you're a woman. And you don't allow anybody to squeeze you and throw you out as orange. Men, they always, they can have 10 wives, 10 girls all together and do whatever. But what about your body, emotion, psychologically, mental? Do you know that this can actually affect your low, uh, uh, your self-esteem? Okay. Or do you want to enter into a relationship that you cannot be yourself? Be who God has called you to be. Do what God has called you to do. You don't want to step into that relationship. So the best thing is for you, my dear, to step out of that relationship as soon as possible. And look at God. God actually loves you. Loves you. Loves you. That didn't let you enter into marriage. Because it's a different ball game when you enter into that marriage. So I that's why I said I'm just gonna come here and I I and share this. Um, so I'm gonna send the video to Chinwe directly if he can. Um, I put her name down here. Um, I, I I got to know her. I saw her with Maya before. Then I saw her with when she has recently, just recently, not quite long, maybe the day, day before yesterday. I was looking at the video and then or what she had a problem and I said there's this one. I decided to come out to address this. You know, I will be coming out to talk uh, about this marriage. And uh, on my channel, Nikki's Dot, I know that, uh, you know, it's, it might not be something that is a ties, it's ties into um, um, young people. Or, um, or, I mean, she might not see much about that video, but you can go and check my channel on Nikki's Thoughts. 
there's so many videos there on relationship communication and all sorts and marriage can marry you and marriage can make you so and um, that you can go there and check out those videos there and see if it's of any use for you it might not be of good standard at the video but there's so many um, senses in that video so until i hear your voice again i want to until you hear me again so um i want to say god be with you you're beautiful and don't let anybody take that away, away from you care okay, okay and be who god has called you to be i have one boy and three girls so and so it's very important that you get that right see you love bye everybody subscribe to my channel if you have not done so until next time on Nikki's talk